All right, here we are in round number three. We will play first. Um, I will keep this hand. It's a little bit ambitious, I guess. We do have Dusk Wasp on turn two suspended. Yeah, not mulliganing has been working out for me. So, like, it's not that bad if we don't play this for a while. That we've got um, eight ways we can draw into white mana. Uh, we might have to draw into blue mana instead. Oops. I attract a very particular kind of lady. The kind that's apparently afraid to tell me that they like me. Uh, Alright, planes, good. Perfect. Mycoderm! Let's go, Myco! So we got this guy coming out in two turns, this guy coming out next turn. Each creature is a fungus source. Right, okay. I have a lot of upkeep effects in this deck. I'm just now realizing. This is interesting. Um, I think I just go ahead and throw out the Sporloth Ancient. Yeah, I do that. He's going to be facing down some stuff next turn. Um, hopefully, you know, I guess... This guy's uh, definitely, since he can get first strike, can be a little bit complicated. Blind spot giant. Alright, so he's that's the giant for him. Creature controls, fungus are so cool. Alright, well, we're going to be able to get. Um, get in with the Dusk Wasp at least. Um, so, let me think. Play the veteran armor. This guy could go up to uh, with the pallid mycoderm thing. Could go up to a five, six, which still I don't want to deal with. So I'll just go ahead and attack. Play my veteran armor. The next turn we got mold drifter. Did I play? If I played a forest last term, it was entirely possible I should not have played a forest. No. Um. Sure. Start pumping these guys out. There's always, you know, just draw a trump the domain so they don't have an island. So that's a little bit awkward. Spore or Thalid. Oh, that's just nuttiness. Crazy craziness. So many thalids. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to play that over my mold drifter. Although, um, yeah, we 
because even if he has that giant that um, kind of wipes my board, uh, I survive that actually. Or the the these guys survive it, and he would actually not survive it because then he needs better armor. But he needs to get up to four giants to wipe my board. I hope he doesn't do that. Is he just like another a third color and he's not drawing or something? I don't know what he's doing here. Has he got the rare board wiper? Kiki jiki. Kiki jiki. Alright. So we can get two, four, threes. So yeah, we create. Oops. I guess it's best to just kind of sit back one more turn, I think. Fourteen. You can't F with the fungus. The fungus. The fungi. Um Just hit him for three in the air. People seem to be having fun with this modern master set, which I guess is um, what you might call the point. Oh, that's oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we just take that. He does that at the beginning, at the end, in, uh, on the end step. So the beginning trigger that would force him to sacrifice is already in there. Oh, I forgot you could do that with Kiki Jiki. You little bastard. I bet he's pissed off though that he didn't actually suspend him. So. Oops, I was supposed to make tokens there. Oh uh, boy. So what happens if I attack with everybody? I should put a bound in silence on the blind spot giant or the war spike changeling. Um, hmm. Or I could just hit for five in the air. So he's got five in the air, and then he'll have four potential blockers. He doesn't want to use this guy. Yeah, problem is he just, he, he just blocks some guys. So I see no reason not to just take the air air attack and then. Um, if I put out some fungus like I was supposed to, I think that makes a difference. But, yep. Uh, probably don't need to do this, but I'll jump.
good, good, good. Don't have to. Oh, yeah, that was a couple turns away from Trump the Domains. So, it looks like there's a giant deck. So, interesting thing about giants is they don't seem to really have trample. So, I think I want a Pocrisite. I can get in early and then chump, come back. Um, I think that's the only thing I want to do. A giant Dusk Wasp, he had some issues dealing with. Giant Reacher Branches, also good against him. Oh, I think I get in the, the Metal Boon. Metal Boon is not what we want. It just doesn't seem to quite do enough. I think, I think it's, had, it's definitely at its best when you just play it as a 3-3 three, three and then eventually it dies and pumps your whole team. But at least in the way this deck's built, like if I had more Thalids, this would be uh, what we affectionately call more better. Um, but we don't, so we don't. Alright. Definitely getting a little bit lucky with this deck, but I think okay. I just I just jinxed myself. This is interesting. Man. So if we draw a forest or any of the vivid lands, we can cast the mana fours, or we can uh, cast search for tomorrow and mana fours. Do have a power plant? I'm gonna go crazy and keep. That might be pretty aggressive. Well, we know we can at least play the Pallid Mycoderm. I see your veteran armor. And I will not try and trade. So things are going to get ugly next turn. Uh, yep, yeah, we can cast Vivid Creek and Veteran Armor. Uh, Red does have uh, the Brute Force, which is uh, just giant growth in red. So and he's also got that, OK. Well, that's awkward. Two, four. We can, I guess now we do trade. It just puts it on that then. All right, no big deal. Hmm. All right, so. I guess we want a Mana Fours and cast our Pallid Pycoderm. Because he stabilizes the board. Unless something funky happens here. We should add double green in case we draw uh, not that guy. Well, that does give us this option to search for tomorrow in Thalid. Mm. I think the Pallid Mycoderm is just going to be better. Somewhat stabilize the board here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to throw away Pallet Michael Dam. Especially since I don't have any other. Or as a one for one, if you want to play something. Torn the Stone. Okay. I'm okay with that. So, might as well go ahead and attack him. I'm not going to block. And we're going to search up a forest and cast Thalid off of that forest. And we got 
Path to Exile available. I'm not in bad shape here. It's not good. Did I F6? I don't remember F6ing on that one. Alright, well, that's a bit of an issue. Alright, I think we just have to pass the turn back to him. Keep the path to exile. Uh, I will pay, pay, uh, play the planes in case we need it. I want to hold back the forest in case we get the tree folk thing. Could double block, but I'm not going to do it. Hey, doesn't do a lot with his mana. Like he's got so much mana, and I mean, like, his giants are like almost free to cast. He's just like, yeah, hit you for three, hit you for three. Which is not so bad. Kiki Jiki. Oh. Down. Uh, path to exile him. Mole Drifter, hooray. Uh, actually, let me leave that. Eh, I guess we do that. the domains. Hmm. Kinda wish we'd searched out an island. Oh well. So we're gonna looks like trade off the mole drifter for one of these guys. It is not ideal, but can't keep taking damage like that. It's a little dangerous to do that to someone in red. They have a fair bit of instance that can just you know kill off a Sepulchre token, token no problem. But all right, drawing too many forests, but we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Hopefully he doesn't attack. If he does, we're going to be in a tough spot. But I think we're going to have to do another double block. This will kill off both our guys, but Thundercloud Shaman. Okay. Yeah, that and Kiki Jiki could just wreck our day. So we need to draw Kitchen Finks. Perfect. Or er, not perfect, but it's fine. Or if you cast it for the right mana. And gain us some life chump. Give us a chance to draw something else. I really want to get that tree folk instant thing. You just tap his mana and then. Oops. Yeah. 
So, like, if we chump block this guy twice, twice and gain f two life uh, each time off of this, we gain 16 life effectively from Kitchen Finks. So good. So good. Um. Sure, whether we uh, chump block again or maybe try and trade. Looks like what is he just gonna kill this guy? Binding beam and twine. Okay. Don't untap. All right. So we sweep six. I won't untap. Well, if we don't draw a blocker here, bound in silence. Okay, yeah, that's what we do. Story target creature with flying, not a problem. have to pay that echo cost next turn. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and search up That's that island. Pass the turn back to him. So looks like we can run a double block with the Fanx and the Ancient. Um, or, or token, excuse me. To... What is this? What is this? What is this treachery? Blinding B. Okay. So good news is we're not dead. Does that? Um. Believe it's correct to jump here. We don't want to get in, in uh, burn range. Both of us drew a lot of land this time. Hypocrisite. Nice. Kitchen things just saved my bacon. Crush underfoot. Okay. Well, if we can survive a little bit, hopefully he can't burn us out here. Reach the branches. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to start hitting in just with that. Just might be a little bit conservative. But so it goes. Don't think there's any way you can give him trample. Doesn't the was the What's the Fury Charm? It does not give a trample. Oh, it does, it does give a trample. Alright, so I'm going to play the Reach of Branches in that case. And block with that. I know it seems kind of silly to... In fact, actually, we trade that and that. If he does have that, playing around that is kind of kind of iffy. Doesn't seem like he would be running that, but just in case.
So I think we just hit in we'll hit in with those two. Just really hope this guy doesn't draw the shock. If he doesn't draw a shock this turn, we got him, I think. Oh wait, did we drop the dead range three? Oh crap, I could have killed him last turn. I deserve to lose this game. Yeah, I could have dropped the domains for the win. forget to do the math on uh, these race situations which is a pretty important thing to do all right so I just want to make sure I can play Trump the Domains and have Reach of Branches available if he pulled some shenanigans. Yeah. Fungus, it's so good. It's so good. Season 7, here I come. And cube tickets. So we can play many, many more of those fun, fun Master's Dress. Alright, thanks for watching.